dear students the consumer utility maximization problem that we have discussed in the last class where the consumer purchases both commodities is known as interior activity interior optimum in which positive amounts of both the commodities are consumed but there are situations in which the consumer will be interested in only one of the commodities that the that is the consumer maximizes his utility by consuming either x or y not both if our consumer decides to purchase only one commodity and maximizes his utility it is known as corner solution corner solution or what is known as boundary optimum boundary optimum as against interior optimum boundary optimum as against interior optimum to explain this consider this figure This is the budget line. Y, X, I by P Y, I by P X, and U one, U two, U three. now this point is i by px this is x star point e now in this case as you can see utility is maximum at the point e where x is equal to x star and y is equal to zero x is equal to x star and y is equal to zero and this is the example of a boundary optimum and if uh, you consider a point where the consumer purchases both the commodities that is if you consider a point on the budget line where the consumer purchases both the commodities as you can see it represents a lower level of utility it represents a lower level of utility also note that at the point e utility is maximum but it is not defined by tangency between the indifference curve and the budget line actually at this optimum point as you can see the budget constraint is flatter than the indifference curve that means it shows that the rate at which x can be traded for y in the market determined by the price ratio is lower than the individual's 
സൈക്കോളജിക്കൽ ട്രേഡ് ഓഫ് എം ആർ എസ് ഓർ വി ക്യാൻ സെ അറ്റ് ഈക്വലിബ്രിയം പി എക്സ് ബൈ പി വൈ ഈസ് ലെസ് ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു വാട്ട് ഈസ് നോൺ ആസ് എം ആർ എസ് എക്സ് വൈ സോ ഈക്വലിബ്രിയം ഓർ പി എക്സ് ബൈ പി വൈ ഈസ് ലെസ് ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു എം യു എക്സ് ബൈ എം യു വൈ ന ഇൻ ദിസ് കേസ് equilibrium is not defined strictly in terms of equality between mrs xy and px by py at the prevailing market price the individual is more than willing to trade away y to get extra x the willingness to substitute x for y is greater than what the market allow that is it is possible that marginal utility per dollar for x that is mu x by px px by py is less than or equal to mu x by py and mu x by px if uh, you take it like this mu x by px greater than or equal to mu y by py so the the consumer is willing to substitute more and more unit of y for x this is because marginal utility per dollar of x is higher than marginal utility per dollar of y but there is a limit our consumer cannot substitute y for x beyond the point e because at the point e y is zero y is zero so in the case of corner solutions boundary optimum equilibrium is not defined by equality between mrs xy and px by py mrs xy or marginal utility per dollar from x and y need not be equal that means the first order condition should be modified to allow for utility maximization in the case of corner solutions and remember this point always the second point is a corner solution always occurs when diminishing marginal rate of substitution axiom is violated over the whole range of commodity bundles if dmrs axiom is violated we will have a corner solution always let me explain why now suppose that this is the budget line i by py i by px the budget line you shall see and suppose that in difference curves are like this u1 u2 u3 the case of perfect substitutes in the case of perfect substitutes as we have discussed earlier diminishing marginal rate of substitution axiom axiom is violated in this case our consumer will consume only one commodity only one commodity with the large marginal utility per dollar as an example in this case equilibrium occurs at the point e that means mu y by py is greater than mu x by px if x and y are perfect substitutes our consumer will purchase only one commodity 
and the decision rule is which commodity will give him more marginal utility per dollar in this example mu y by py is greater than mu x by px so that our consumer will purchase only commodity y not commodity x as an example to this suppose that the equation u u x y for perfect substitutes is equal to 5 x plus 3 y this is the utility function for perfect substitutes we have discussed earlier suppose that p x is equal to 4 p y is equal to 3 i is equal to 96 96 now mrs xy equal to mu x by mu y is equal to 5 by 4 is greater than is greater than px by py 4 by 3 greater than 4 by 3 that is px by py now <coughs> px by py is the economic rate of substitution now here uh, mu x by mu y is a constant 5 by 4 and as it is greater than px by py it is clear that uh, indifference curve is steeper than the budget line let it be like this this is the budget line and suppose also that this is the indifference curve this is the budget line and i by py i by px now i by py is equal to 32 i by px is equal to is equal to 24 24 so the corner solution here is the consumer purchases only commodity bundle commodity x so our consumer will purchase x is equal to 24 and y is equal to 0 it's a case of corner solution where budget line is steep is sorry indifference curve is steeper than the budget line and mu x by px in this case is what mu x by px is equal to 5 by 4 5 by 4 is greater than mu y by py what is mu y by py mu y 3 by 3 5 by 4 greater than 3 by 3 as mu x by px is greater than mu y by py marginal utility per dollar is greater from x he will purchase only commodity x so if a dmrs is violated there is always a corner solution corner solution is guaranteed this is a case in which we have a corner solution even though indifference curve has the usual shape now we consider one more case for a household with the strict concave preferences that is increasing mrs extremes are preferred so extremes are preferred to averages so the optimal allocation is always an extreme boundary in the case of increasing mrs as extremes are preferred to averages we have always 
a corner solution an optimum an extreme boundary as an example to this consider this graph the budget line in difference curve representing u0 u1 u2 this is the point where mux by muy is equal to px by py but as you can see this is the point where mux by muy less than px by py and this is i by py this is i by px so if a uh, mrs xy increases then marginal utility per dollar for one of the commodities is satisfied and in this case our consumer purchases only commodity y where uh, muy by py will be greater than mux by px a tangency condition will not maximize utility it minimizes utility a tangency condition will not maximize utility it only minimizes utility as an example consider the case uxy is equal to x square plus y square px is equal to 4 py is equal to 3 i is equal to 96 in this case our consumer will purchase only commodity commodity y you can check it yourself so in the case of corner solutions if the consumer purchases only one commodity the condition for optimality will be slightly modified modified because the condition will not be mux by px is equal to muy by py it will be different this should be considered and these are cases in which our consumer purchases only one commodities where we have corner solution rather than interior optimum corner solution or a extreme optimum or a what is known as another name is boundary optimum and these are the possible corner solutions